Okay, I'm Rachel and I will be retelling who is Melvin Pebble. So it starts like this. His dad says, well, Melvin was so much like me when he was a kid. And then he shows all these pictures about how Melvin would never cry cry at birthday parties, he would always have fun and laugh, and then his dad would always be like, ah, this is the worst birthday ever! And then he kept on having the worst birthdays ever, and that's the part I don't understand. But I guess that was how he was when he was a child. And then, the dad, when he was younger, he had the meanest dog, the dog was so mean to him, and then the same dog was so nice to Melvin, and then it says, okay, so let's ask his mom. And then she says, well, Melvin is a very nice kid, very strange at the same time, but he has the messiest room in the whole world. Man, once I found his homework stuck to the wall with a pizza pizza, and then crackers laying all over his room with toothpaste on them. And then I found underwear in his toy box. And then guess what? I also found socks on his dog. And then I found his library books on his bed. And his little stuffed animal in the laundry room with all the shoes and... He probably stuck that in there because he doesn't respect the other parts of the house either. And then he said, okay, so let's ask. And then he said, the big scary monster in his closet. And he was like, oh, Melvin, not a very good name, but still a very good person to have over for dinner. And you know what I mean by that. <laughs> And then he said, okay, now let's ask the meanest man in the world. He was like, oh, man, oh, man, bubble. I hate silly names and the only thing I hate more than silly names are puppies and rainbows. But the only thing I hate more than puppies and rainbows are silly, are books about people with silly names. Okay, okay, shoosh. Now let's ask this magic rock. Okay, maybe it's not magic after all. Okay, so let's ask a zebra. Who, who, what, what's Melvin Bubble? See, lion, I really don't like lions because sometimes they try to eat zebras and that really gets me upset. And lions try to trust me a lot. And I just, oh man, it kills me. Oh, so this is getting us nowhere. So let's ask a pretty, pretty princess that was in his fairy tale. Once there lived a pretty, pretty princess that was always in love with Melvin Bubble. Someday they were going to have a royal wedding. But Melvin never, never thought that. Only the princess did. She was like, oh, Melvin, he's my savior. He saved me. The dragon was going to eat me, but then he ate Melvin Bubble instead. Melvin sacrificed my life, but it's so sad knowing that he can't marry me now. But I think he might have done that on purpose since he didn't want to marry me. Now that I think about it. Okay, man, this is really getting us nowhere. So let's ask Melvin Bubble. This will get us somewhere. So, I'm um about six and a half years old. I don't keep track of my life either. I don't keep track of really anything, so. I don't think I'm a very good person to ask, so let's ask. Nobody! Oh, I think you've learned enough about Melvin Bubble for now and how stupid he is and how messy he is and how he kind of has a bonker brain. But he always smiles and. 
His dad doesn't. Bad for him. Poo-poo. That's the end of Melvin Bubble.